Okay, so believe it or not, I've never played Deus Ex before. Uh, I know about it through its reputation, obviously. Um, I had some friends in high school who were really into this game. Uh, so I know that it has to do with, like, conspiracy theories, but that's just, like, the surface level stuff. Like, the reason it's so famous is because of its uh, level design. Um... So I'm excited to finally play it. I played a lot of games that are clearly inspired by Deus Ex. I played Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is an, an okay game. Uh, but after I played Cruelty Squad, I think it finally clicked for me why everybody loves this game. Um, so I'm excited to finally play it after all this time. I'm gonna be doing mouse and keyboard. I haven't done any like mods or anything like that. Hopefully it just runs okay. Oh, I guess we should do the tutorial. Probably a good idea. I figured you'd be sick of drills by Play this, I can finally watch the H Bomber guy video. Will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Okay. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Makes sense. Audio balance looks maybe a little loud. Let's turn it down a hair. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Okay. Let me know if it's uh, too loud as we go here. Oh my god, I can turn the lamp on and off. Video games. I see. Unlocked. exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. Okay, On a typical it. mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Combat knife, crowbar. up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others can take things you might find useful. Lock picks, okay. Now pick up the lock pick and use it to open the door. Lock picking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lock picks. Just be patient and remember your training. Gotcha. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lock pick resources to pick a lock. That's cool. have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many locks oh, okay. are required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. Makes sense. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents. How do I see Type the, the, into the door key strength? You activate the keypad with the right mouse button. Just like Is it being suppressed by the tutorial at the moment? The I can't see that one. Okay. 0012. Oh, is the keypad value telling me the door value? Tools. I tried increasing the GUI scaling so this is legible on stream. Hopefully, it's good enough. Okay. Any number of ways to open a door, including using explosives or finding a security computer. Famously. Look at that. No hacking mini game. It's kind of refreshing. Pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, agent. Is 
Oh shit. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this <laughs> next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Was it necessary to actually render him unconscious? <laughs> So I gotta use the key ring, right? Did I pick him up a second ago? Here we go. Okay, I have to put away my item away. Good work. The trolls and UI in this are like surprisingly modern. Move on to the next area. I guess it's like right at the the cusp of PC games starting to be standardized. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. Okay, I see that in the corner. Apparently that is the screenshot button. Maybe I can rebind that later. Let's show that F12 is bound. Goals. Okay, I guess I won't worry about it for now. You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair bots now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting to the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. Thanks. Pretty similar to the way that works in System Shock. Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. Oh God, what's the crouch button? The to begin again. It's not, it's X, okay. sort of what defines the immersive sim is the ability to stack boxes. Now go up the ladder at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. Okay. We get some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. It's fine. These medical books, normally used for quick healing, are of particular interest to you, JC, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during this swim, now's a good time to get patched up. No, thanks. Heal all. 
The torso is by far the portion of the human anatomy able to absorb the most damage. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Very well. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Günther Hermann, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Gunter Herman. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Something that stuck out to me about Human Revolution is that the game took itself really seriously, so and my friends who liked this game in high school talked about it like it was a big joke, like Metal Gear Solid. I guess Metal Gear Solid takes itself seriously too, but then it is very silly as well. I don't remember there being anything like super silly in Human Revolution. Did it have it come further forward? There's no manual reload in this, I think. Well, it's not what the R button does. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. R makes me look up. Uh, I can try looking in the settings here. Reload weapon semicolon? Oh my god. Let's do that. The worst possible button to put Since reload on. Range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. They're doing like an RPG thing, right? The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. Uh, I might want to change that too. Shit. I see it swaying constantly. That makes a pretty big difference. Good work. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Let's see, what would I change that to? It looks like the F key is not doing anything helpful for me at the moment. I probably want that to be interact, although interact is already like right mouse button, you know? Toggle scope, toggle laser sight. Eh, I'm gonna try to deal with it. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. This is Warren Spector, this is right? The demolitions training area. First, you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window, and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamp. 
lamps placed on the walls are proximity triggered. Got it. This time you will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Yuck. Gotcha. Oh, I see. It changes the animation. Armed. I did a good job of making that happen. They give you the healing back here like they expect it to happen. Lamps in the demolitions area. Here, catch. We didn't actually throw anything at me. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Uh oh. Am I stuck? Out of explosives? Here's some more. Hell, I don't care. I'm not paying for him. Thanks, bud. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. <laughs> Beyond the destroyed door, See a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. No, that's cool. Try that now. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. Got to start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. I love how they all comment on it. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. Let me check again to see if I can find that. It's probably a dedicated augment button. Activate augmentations, change ammo, take screenshots. That's weird. F12 is definitely mapped, but it doesn't show in that list. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. Oh. Just disarm and remove all four lamps Oops. before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and to defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. Got it. Okay. Gotta be pretty quick about it, though. Warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Got it. Thanks, medical bot. Reesh. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. I love the voice acting in this. It's charming. Okay. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Stealth is a vital component of all UNAT cooperations. Okay, I'm going to try not to play this game with perfect stealth. I did that with Human Revolution, and it made the game take like three times as long. 
Also ended up meaning that I ended up not caring about like 95% of the items in the game. Okay. Assuming I can turn the lights off in there, which is kind of cool. Power supply used up. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> so much for that. Can I reset? Doesn't give me the goggles back. Okay. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, I can just crouch. I'm gonna move crouch to shift. I think shift is bound to anything by default. Don't think that'll matter. This should be control, actually. Uh, where's the toggle crouch option? Here. Thanks, that is helpful. Do Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. Ank, ank, ank. I can see you. Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Move slowly, okay. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility. Okie doke. Very good. I hope you remember this lesson, Agent. They have assigned us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. A more After realistic level. Test, you have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. That's helpful. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, Green over allies and white over neutrals. Do -do. Hello. Zero zero eight nine. Felt pretty hidden. This is a cool little closer to the whole thing. God. Don't shoot me, bro. I guess I could have also like hacked the Stop console or like when you're through, used a bunch of uh, boxes to cross. A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. Surprised we're not like FEMA if this is the universe where all conspiracy theories are true. The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the US. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American Revolution. Gotcha. This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most <laughs> national military forces. <laughs> Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against the bomb, you should <laughs> use an EMP grenade, scrambling grenade, or some kind of explosive. 
expensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Got it. The Coalition's new nano-augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population. Except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Okay. This is the old augmentation technology. Hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics. A maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they'd made me file in my office in the med lab. Feel bad for her. She shows up as a cautionary tale about... Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Bob Page. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. <laughs> duty. Yes. Yes, you are. Good day. I feel like I've seen a lot of, like, jokes with J.C. Denton's voice actor. All right. Cool. I think I get it. Let's go. Uh, I guess we play on medium. I think that's the default difficulty. Oh, man. Codename J.C. Denton. Real name J.C. Denton. So we'll just go with the default guy. Pistol. Five thousand skill points. Interesting choices here. What is environment? Okay, it tells you experience with hazmat suits. Has you use them longer? Okay, I don't really care about that. Increase slightly. Don't really care about that. Slightly more damage. Okay. That seems pretty useful. I guess it gets more expensive over time, right? Safety margin for disabling stuff seems good. Although it's like slightly better, moderately better, you're a fucking ninja now. It's relatively cheap as well. You kind of like the idea that the lock picking like uses more of the lock pick depending on how trained you are. It's smart. Let's do computers, demolition, and a teeny bit of swimming. I never do demolition in games like this, so I kind of want to give it a try. Your appointment to FEMA should Graphics. be oh, hey, the FEMA. I've already discussed the matter with the senator. <laughs> I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I have received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. 
Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. Like the headless there Statue of Liberty. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated Doesn't the skyline Bank. also not have the World Trade Center just by, like, coincidence of development? Trying to cover the things I know through cultural osmosis. To consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. Your signal? My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon they will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Oh, it's like the name. Shit. Liberty Island, New York. Very quick save button. It's augmentations. Quick save. Numpad plus. Numpad slash. Okay. Try to remember that. Charger prod, a pistol. Headless Statue of Liberty. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Friend? Welcome aboard, Agent. Nope, oh, oh, he's Paul. He scared the shit out of me. Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? Love the, the voice NSF. acting. It's great. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Gep gun... Uh, try well I just said I'm not gonna do this stealth because I always do stealth and it makes the game take way longer I don't know what the gep gun is so I'll try it never know when I might come up against some heavy armor give me the gep gun the gep gun might be useful they have a security bottom patrol near the statue entrance great what's the first move I'm going to give you a map of the island if you can get to the north dock a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors he responds to the code phrase iron and copper. iron and copper. Okay. You could avoid a lot of fighting though if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue, but don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. Oh, the guy who trained me. The command center. Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Doke. Uh, let me see if it lets me rebind this really quick. I can't do that. Okay. Oh God. Move key bindings, please. Make sure it didn't just screw up my stuff. No, it didn't. Okay. I don't think it'll let me do F5. All right, that's fine. Leave it on what it is then, plus. Was it essentially a rocket launcher? Binoculars. Oh shit. Tetris inventory. 
Okay. That's cool. It's a friendly robot. swim already that's cool bioelectric cell multi-tool nice trying to give me something Taking a lot of unnecessary screenshots until I can figure out how to rebind that. So, did my point in swimming just make me swim slightly faster and give me a better oxygen meter? I think I'm hitting an invisible wall. Okay. Bummer. It's less useful than I was hoping it was gonna be right here. That's okay. Been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out. It's a long story. Doke. Sure, use ammo when I actually hit them. I didn't notice in the corner there. Okay. Step that back then. everywhere. There's TNT crates. It's pretty cool. Oh. 
Amazing. Do they stay uh, knocked out for the entire mission? What I really need to do is stack crates to climb this wall. Other guards can find them, though, presumably. Dreaded two guards next to each other. Try binding it to something else. check it's a rat Saw that tunnel Thank going you. down. I'm just you looking around to here. Avoid some of the security by entering this way. Well, that's pretty neat. Now we're immersive simming. the layout of this first stage so far. It already feels like there's a bunch of different paths I could have taken. I'd always heard good things about Deus Ex, but it wasn't until I played Cruelty Squad and was like overwhelmed with the genius of that game's level design that I really got excited about playing this. not see me when I peek like that. I got a crossbow. Nice. Going great. Having a good time. Uh, let's see. Electric cell, trank dart.
like take a second for it to trigger okay cool is it like uh faster if i um get a clean headshot or something It's only really a concern if they can make it to an uh, alarm, it seems like. Just looking for secrets and loot. Shit. Didn't see me. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Probably could have like collected that if I had walked up to it soon enough. Oh, I see them now. Make a manual save here. You found a gas grenade. That's cool. them out of there. Did I find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So I saw somebody. Maybe just a homeless guy. Guess we're safe. Firms peeking, they can see you. Oh, they'll see past it, okay. Billy the post. Kid, man. Like We're outlaws. Him. Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. Skill points. The troops pulled back. They must be sending agents. Skill points just you this get you as you move through the main story. We knew it might come to this. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? If you NADCO breach the perimeter, then it's already too late. Get oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Tab apparently is throw item. Oops. Attach the surfaces. <clears throat> Let's see. Candy. Wrong button. Oops. Easy. We want 
you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Critical location bonus. So that's skills. Do I have to find augments? Are they like... Is, okay, are there points of no return in this game? Like, am I able to fully explore this place? This feels like this is close to the end of the area, and if there's like cool shit to find... Like, you find the equivalent of these in Cruelty Squad. I guess it's like, um, what was it, Praxis points in Human Revolution? Uh, do I want points in I'll save what I've got for now. Make a save and find out, I guess. It doesn't hurt. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. Hey, augmentation canister. Hell yeah. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Oh, great. So can I freely still explore this stage then? Uh, okay. Logs. Fermentation canister. Nanoscale can of carbon raw modules. Okay, extra sapient abilities. Microfiber muscle or combat strength? Do I have to pick between these two? Because if so, I fucking love that. That's fantastic. I hated Praxis points. I'll take it from here. <laughs> In uh, Human Revolution, I get what they were trying to do. Fucking phenomenal. It's really good. Okay, so I can do a mission and then just kind of explore the area. Does my stuff carry over in between stages, or is it just like skill points and augmentations and that sort of a thing? Oh, they shot everybody. Despite my best efforts. So I'm always going to be given an explicit choice to end the stage, essentially. I don't have to stress out too much about finding everything right away. Or, like, taking forever to explore lest I miss something. I want augmentation canisters. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Pretty cool. Seems like a really big stage, and I was just kind of able to beeline it. Oh, his damage sounds. I feel like I've heard them sampled in like YouTube videos and stuff. Downside is that none of them have loot. Shame, isn't it? French terrorist group Silhouette claims that France was wrong to give the U.S. the statue. We think they planned the bombing. Sorry. Huh? 
I would put a secret in there. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, that was a side quest. I know they mentioned it earlier, but it wasn't clear to me how the game was structured. What I could and couldn't do. Is it generally do this or this, or can I exclude myself out of content because I did things in an unfortunate order? So I don't want to stress out about it too much. I'd like to just kind of play the game. But... I think I want to look for augmentations. That's the thing I'm excited about, finding those canisters. It seems like a great little bit of non-degenerate progress. Come here if no one needs my help. I found a back way into the statue, but I'm sure you're not going appreciate your dedication. I've been standing here for an hour. I better get paid for this. You'll have to bring that up with Manderly. So he could have helped me if I found him earlier, I guess. That's cool. Flares work. A flare. Fantastic. Chocolate dream. It's chocolate, it's people, it's both. What? I'm just waiting for a ride. Turn the ship's wheel. I had to swim some more. Swimming was kind of underwhelming last time. Uh, save. Lock pick. I only had the one pick. I don't think I... Okay. I think I was looking at the slot that it was on. Oop. Okay, so can I... I might want to put points into that then. Skills, lock picking. I can't afford it. So I could look for skill points elsewhere. I could also try to, like, blow it open, right? X 
exploration bonus. I'd love to see that. This is cool, this is what I live for. Weapon mods, oh, nice. For your inventory, okay, give me a sec. This guy back off. Probably don't need the combat knife. I think a lot of these things don't actually do anything. Next generation stealth pistol. A single shot. Okay. Reload. I don't know if that's the right shape for this auto shotgun. It's pretty satisfying. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm probably going to want to not have lots of different weapons on me. Like, one is probably more than enough. Need to find a med bot, right, to install that. Try doing the trank dot darts. Trank darts can just never take a guy out without them getting a chance to run around for a few seconds. Is that true? Is that like under pistols? Does it tell you what stat it uses? It's not low tech, right? And the mini crossbow, okay. Anything else in the water near? I can probably see it from the surface. Extra oxygen felt like it helped there, so that's cool. Now, so far, I think this game holds up. It's got some like janky default control bindings, but the level design is pretty good, and I'm really excited about finding augmentations. Hopefully, there aren't augmentations that you only get as a quest reward. Barely can't jump high enough without those little crates. Maybe that's an augment. I honestly climbed up assuming that I would need to go down to finish the mission, so I was surprised when it just ended when I got up there. Hazmat suit.
SF001, smash the state. Game does not write those down for you, right? Assume. Uh, sure. Oh, it does add the data cubes in the notes section. Okay, cool. I don't really want to know where they are, but I wouldn't mind knowing, like asking, okay, am I done with this level? Do you have multi-tools? Maybe even just knowing how many are in a mission at the start of the mission would be fine. And let me know if I'm about to take an action that will lock me out of getting them. Can I get can I get all of them? Or are some of them like mutually exclusive to find based on story choices? But I love that exploration bonus. That's really cool. Mod laser. Clip. I see. But if there's like four canisters in a level, I can get all of them basically regardless of the choices I make. I know I have to pick between two different choices for them, but... I think I'm going to try to make... I know I said I wasn't going to do stealth, but I'm going to try to make the Trank thing work. This game seems like it actually supports that playstyle a bit. Okay, I see. Crossbow updated. Probably don't need to reload on it. I'm guessing there's lots of different copies of the different weapon mods. Did I put a laser on this? Let me see, so I can turn that on and off. Okay. Does the laser just like make the accuracy roll better or something? They sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions. I see how it is. The exit through there. Icebreaker NSF O one. 
Goals and notes. So does that mean I need to manually write it? It looks like I can write it down in game, right? NSF 01, smash the state. That's pretty cool. Neat. Oh, okay, and it so I don't have to wait for it to charge anymore then essentially. Don't worry about the bodies. We'll handle the cleanup. Poison. Seven shots in this thing. Okay. Takes up a lot of space, but it seems like it's really useful. Yep, got that. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of level here. Out on his own. Report back to base. So this would have prompted me to do the side quest, okay. I see. Um things I'm actually gonna need to reload. Can I put multiple of these on the same item? Freaked out by the the mirror. Does that mean I need to do a single blow against this door that overwhelms the door strength? I can't just like crowbar it to death, essentially. Can't even jump on a chair. I can jump on trash bags, right? Right, trash can. Trash can. Remember the trash can. That's cool. Hey, tech goggles. I can see there's a thing back there, but I don't think I can get there. Let's see. Whoa! Can't believe that worked. That's cool. Oh, so you can actually use cash in this? Can you, like, sell things between missions?
Whole secret area, wow. I'm impressed. Locked from both sides. Is there a vendor in this stage? I could try to sell all the random junk I'm leaving around. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is where most of the level is. Basically short circuited the level. Someone should have put a slug in the commander's head. Power of stacking boxes. Oh yeah. Uh Two three zero zero two three four five five eight. That's fun. Authorized access will be met with excessive force. It should still be available here, even after clearing the stage. That's cool. Okay, cool, thanks. Almost blew myself up there. Make a quick safety save. Oh, I didn't even see this. That's cool. So Gunter would have been in that room with the uh, the barrels. Cool to see how everything connects. Are there any other og canisters in this level? Just following orders up there. Okay, cool. I can get out of here then. That was fun to explore. I like seeing all the different paths you can take. Benson touched off a gas trap. Nasty. Nasty. I'm gonna try to find this vendor. I guess since the level is so huge and since I'm still learning the game, can you point me to the vendor? It's a woman at the docks. Oh, she didn't really respond to me when I talked to her. So we're talking to people repeatedly then? Waiting for a ride. Bilbin said I'd get 200 for this. He'd better not jerk me around. You got a problem? Leave me be. Bilbin said I'd get 200 for this. He'd better not jerk me around. I just want to sell stuff. That the NSF won't try that trick again. I better get my money on time. That the NSF won't try that trick again. Okay. Pretty striking central image.
Who owns uh, Deus Ex right now? Is it still Square Enix after they acquired Idos? Really interested to see somebody try. I mean, like a lot of people have made their own immersive sims and Deus Ex inspired games. But it would be cool to learn the lesson of excessive streamlining from Human Revolution. Try to like Doom 2016 it. Really? Embracer Group? I haven't heard of them. What do they do? A lot of things I get to unlock by playing this. I get to watch that H Bomber us. guy video. I think there's like a famous Warren Spector. GDC talk that he gives about this game. I wanted to wait to watch until playing it myself. Oh no, are they like a... Uh... speed. I guess. That sucks. sucks way to go sir so I could theoretically know what that keypad requirement is Look around before I Gunther should have followed orders does every keypad have a valid code that can be found somewhere in the world? I heard you went a little soft on the NSF. The guys had to mop up for you. <laughs> I used necessary force. Well, necessary force won't work when we chase these sons of bitches into the city. You better load up on some hardware. I scored an extra scope from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Carter? He don't care. NSF goods are the spoils of war. Hey, we're risking our lives out here. I'll check back with you later. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for it's the cool. East Coast. I'm glad that's true. I think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see Was that guy the vendor? They don't Just have like a, a shop ahead. interface. I can't sell well things so to them. I can only buy stuff. Inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Primary goal completed. Which I mean, pay the United States late dues, the United Nations. <laughs> Superpower does not pay rent. This game is already seeing like a massively inflated role for the UN. It's something other than just thing that exists to make sure World War Three doesn't happen. Ah, uh, okay, good to know. I hear you just slipped by a lot of the terrorists. Pretty smart. Thanks. Oh four five. Get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
It's different, right? Access denied. I like their item placement too. It's really good. I feel like item placement can go a really long way. <laughs> Satcom Unatco 001. actually keep the stuff that I want to use yeah that's pretty neat MP grenade it seems quite useful even though I got this cool shotgun I probably will not be using it can the uh, dagger open all the same things that the crowbar can open so maybe save a space with that sweet I can't wait to get to New York and finish the job get inside I'll meet you in Manderley's office yeah yeah Gotcha. Fantastic. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning I the sunglasses. Appreciate that. Already the like layout. I think item placement is so important in a game like this. If you can sneak something somewhere that looks kind of out of the way, you have to like crouch to spot it. It gives me the the happy brain chemicals and that sort of thing that happens because I feel like I'm getting to have that little that designer player dialogue, you know. That's why how many games don't give a shit about that at all. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Repicks. All right, well, what else is quick save for than this? That has infinite door strength, never mind. So that's cool. You already have places where you're not, like, the game really doesn't expect you to go in there part of the main story but like if you happen to put a shitload of points into lock picking then you could just do this in allied areas hell of a first day it's cool I don't see any like vents the thing that really bothered me, and maybe H Bomber guy gets into this in his very long video about it, but won't try that trick I, I don't like when they say, oh look, there's all these different paths to do shit, and then there's like, there's always a way to do it, <laughs> right? Like, if you're gonna give me lock picking, I would be great if there's a door that I can only get in through lock picking, you know what I mean? Like, it's fine for to be like, oh, here's a door that you can get in through lock picking or hacking, or you can find the code, or you can kill the guy that drops the key, but it felt like, um, human revolution and especially like the fallout games there's always another way that's better than using the skill you put points into you know secret cigarettes in the bathroom that's cool Oh, we have this whole HQ on the island. I'm surprised we didn't, like, start in here. I like starting on the, uh, the dock. That was neat. You're getting warm. 
storm. This one. Project Dibbuk. <laughs> You're red hot. Looks like you found me. G. Herman password to Zeitgeist. Schadenfreude. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like having to manually type things in, too. Thank you for living to work another day, Gunther. <laughs> if I could just kill by thought, it would be better. I'm the only nano augmented agent. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concern they'll be walking junk in 10 years. We'll be sold at flea markets, old gray golems for scaring the children. What about my legs? <laughs> okay, that's fun. Cool. Speculative fiction, resource trade show. Calvo. No student of recent history can fail to miss the irony of the greatest enemy mankind has faced in the 21st century. He's not only despot or dictator, but the lowly microbe. <laughs> Gray death. If only it was devastating efficiency. chair cushions I really like the idea like this seems mind-blowing it shouldn't be but just the idea that there's like keypads everywhere and the keypads do have a code but the code doesn't necessarily exist in the game world like that's such an important idea that video games have lost, and I understand why they've lost them. They've lost them from like, a, oh, well, the Chekhov's gun thing, right? If there's a keypad, it, you know, if there's a gun on the wall, it should fire. But like the the um, uncertainty that it adds, like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to find the key for this, the code for this door. Maybe I should hack it. Maybe there's something cool in there. Doesn't exist in games where every keypad, the, the code can be found somewhere, right? Uh... I'm struggling to think of a game that, that does that. I mean, it seems like it's extra work, I guess, but it makes the place feel more real, I guess? I guess it makes the place feel more real, which is fine, but, like, from a gameplay perspective, I think it's a better mechanic as it makes you less certain about whether you should use your lockpicks and your hacking abilities. You're breaking my concentration. I found that. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex <laughs> Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. Thanks, Alex. This is like the exact kind of game that would be completely ruined by a walkthrough, I think. Like, every time I learn something, it's like I feel this kind of innate sadness that I'll never be able to unlearn it again. <laughs> uh, arm slot. Strength is increased. Okay, push and lift heavy objects.
let's definitely take the progression related one but i'm already super pumped that that's choosing between two mutually exclusive choices i didn't know that i thought that um I thought you just like found the augmentations. Like I, I knew that the Praxis points in Human Revolution were a streamlining, but I thought it was like, okay, well then you'll just find each individual augment. But you find them and you have to pick between two is, is really, really neat. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, creates the feeling that secrets you find are non-degenerate. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, that you need a med bar for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades. Others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Oh yeah. Have you met your partner yet, Anna Navarra? I think she and Gunter are upstairs in the break room. Haven't run into her. A real piece of work. Maybe you should compare notes before the operation. You never know. She might go easier on you. Cool. Careful. An anachronistic devotion to arbitrary borders. Unatco is fair, just and protects the individual liberties of all the citizens. I wonder if Unatco are the bad guys. Careful. Years of training, and you're still all thumbs. Oh, there's a nano key back here. That's a cool place to hide it. Turn on. This game's really good. I'm having a blast with it. Um, you know, I've been enjoying System Shock quite a lot, but System Shock has a really aged poorly just in terms of like the, the core controls and the game feel. This is like some similar ideas to System Shock. But it has more modern controls and uh, I think I like the level design a little bit better so far. That's exciting, I am looking forward to that. System Shock 2 is the one that's like, that is famous. I'm surprised how like far along System Shock 1's level design already is though. It's one of those like I play that game and I'm like, oh, this feels really good to play. I'm really excited to explore and find stuff. I can see where they were going with this and I can like tolerate the the jank. But here it's like there's not really any jank. It's just it just seems like it's a good game. <laughs> um throwing knives. Be cool if you could deduce passwords from some of these. That's cool.
Put that in my inventory. I might actually use the pistol later. Let's just confirm. CCM Carter for equipment. Commander leaves office at level two. At ease, Agent General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. <laughs> my parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Hopefully a... Smart lockpick. Smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Engage only on your own terms. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armor. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. Sounds like I can maybe do that. No time for chit chat. There's a camera in there. Darts are not the same thing as tranquilizer, are they? Probably don't need these. I can drop them. Pepper spray doesn't seem very useful. I can't take the upgrade off of this thing that I just put on there, but that's okay. I haven't put too much. I only put a clip increase on there. I'm sure I'll get more of them later. Hmm. A mass crave. Damn. My shit's doing too great. Increased strength benefit. And I can just carry that around now. Way to go, sir. Thanks. Gunther should have followed orders. I can't wait to get to New York and finish the job. Yeah, a little Roomba. out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Mandalay said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD password Bionic Man. See my password out loud? What the fuck? You're going to make a mess.
You have to get used to calling you JC around the office. It's getting the same co last code name as your brother. <laughs> Every neuron in your head has been augmented. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, that's the you're not obsolete thing. Nano augmented agents will encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection. <laughs> They're waiting for you, Agent. I like the idea that the in. game jumped that far ahead already. I want to go to the break room first. We went straight to. There was a period of mechanical augmentations, and now we have nano augmentations. Hmm. World's police. I like the pacing of this section of the game too. Like there's a lot of stuff to explore. Slowed down significantly. Is there something like this in a uh, human revolution? But like if you spent too much time exploring, a bad thing happened. Are you sure you press the right button? I do not Got make moved. mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. <laughs> it's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. My new partner, JC Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. I wear these sunglasses all the time. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to wipe out the enemy <laughs> and then leave agents still captured in a locked cell. No problem. You will be working with Anna Navarre. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. Terrorism, crime or conscience? Declared a meme war. <laughs> I'm very much a fan of the actual, like, intended meaning of meme. Richard Dawkins is kind of a shithead now, but it was a good idea, and it's kind of annoying that the word has been repurposed to mean, like, specifically an internet joke. <laughs> Kilroy was here, was a meme, right? Know your enemy. The Sporting Weapons Act of 2042. Leon Woods. Huh. Washington, Montana, Oregon, and Northern California. Interesting. Inserting 20th century style commercials into the net broadcast of the World Cup in 2050. A 
mech boy choose a memory chip? Triads. This army of middlemen remain insensitive to how their violations of intellectual property and copyright laws damage the global information economy. The Templars and X-51. That's cool. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Can't lift this guy. Check behind every fridge. Just gotta talk to Manuel later so I can turn on Miss Nerdy. JC, mind if I call you JC? Uh, you are required to call me JC, actually. It's my code name that allows them to have voice acting. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? Yes, I see here that she did. Empty cardboard box. Nine levels of security above top secret. Angel OA. <laughs> you carry the torch of freedom. Uh huh. No civilian in the clearance below Angel OA should be trusted and may be a potential spy. Anything else on this floor? Kind of want a quick save and break into one of these rooms just to see, like, I assume most of them aren't super interesting. I'm just going to do it really quick and I'll load. I kind of like this idea that you're, you can always pick locks, but having more skills saves you lock picks, and lock picks are kind of hard to come by. Oh, place is the lock pick. And there's a multi-tool in here and a basketball. Okay, that's cool. mod in there, it looks like. Nano key ring doesn't have the right code. Rebels, eh, Did find a new key. I don't know where it goes. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Must be the one I found in the office. Pepper cartridge, it's fine. Okay. Let's progress. Let's see, how am I doing on uh, skill points here? Could start doing lock picking. The text they provide for these is not super helpful, actually. <laughs> I'll save up for the pistol upgrade. See if I can get the 
tranks to happen faster. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant. Keep hearing NSF is the National Science Foundation. Into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your bike to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. 1,000 credits. We take care of our people around here. The bonus for rescuing Agent Herman goes to one of the troopers, though. I'm sure you understand. Thank you, sir. I do. We'll meet up in the city. You'll come to admire your partner. She's one of our best. <laughs> Leave from where you arrived, Denton. The boat dock. Move it. It's really interesting how this Move game out, doesn't soldier. seem to deal with the internet too much, even though it was... I already knew people who were using the internet around the year 2000. Move out, soldier. Remember fucking around on GeoCities and stuff? Lots of like print media lying everywhere, newspapers, books. Good luck. Went to kind of a poor public school, so we didn't do very much with the internet in school until the early 2000s, but Bet the NSF won't try that trick again. We're already past, like, you know, Usenet. <coughs> South Dock. Wish I was going with you. Good luck out there. Man, two Dentons in the field. The NSF won't know what hit them. Minimum force won't work in the city. You better take some hardware. Here's 60 for the tranquilizer darts. So much for that minimum force approach. They're trank darts, dude. Chill. Does this game remember, if I ever revisit this location, will remember that I left stuff here? Or like once I leave this place, I'm probably not coming back. So that I can see my keys. Oh, I see. Med lab closet, Unatco closet. Uh, I did not open the Medco closet. Could have like a so, there are, are there no other augmentation canisters in this area before I leave? It's quick. Okay. That's both Liberty Island and this Unatco area. real quick just to satisfy my curiosity we finally got to cap some rebels eh Denton
One med kit, worth it. Okay. That was a close one up there. South Dock. Great. It's ready. Okay. Leaving Liberty. Let's head out. Yes, let's. Oh, Deus Ex theme is like really iconic. Was it even used in Human Revolution at all? All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the ship? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's Kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. Find you later, kid. Whoa. Careful with my battery usage. I didn't get any free refills earlier. I don't mind there being invisible walls here, but I wish, uh, I wish they just like displayed them, you know, blue field or something. Huh. 
Sad. No, sir, forget about the NSF. Most of those old forts have a bolt hole. Those boys will be long gone out of side tunnel by now. Hold on, you say. Still too heavy to lift, but I can push it now. It's cool. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I don't have enough skill points yet, right? Can they like see the laser dot if you turn it on or something? Sort of. How does a little boy get mixed up with the NSF? I just wanted to find some food, but they didn't have any. And then they started shooting at the police. Got some? Sorry, I don't have any food. Oh man. Had so many opportunities to have food before. Thought I saw someone. A guy in a coat. Didn't see nothing. All clear. Guy in a coat, you say? Alright, I wasn't a save up for the pistol increase, but I think I want lock picking instead. Now it's just one. Fancy. You're inside the kiosk of Castle Clinton. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. I heard something. Nothing. I 
guess we're safe. Thank you for not searching the rest of the room. Appreciate that, Preesh. Do you get to the point where you use less than one lockpick for things? Six, six, six. Minimum of one, okay. So additional points in lockpicking don't help me at all if it already costs one lockpick to open the thing. Is that true? It's the classic stock creaky uh, gate sound effect. Guy in a coat. Oh shit, well, apparently that counted, okay. alarm before he falls down. Thought so. Oh shit, I keep doing that. Can I not be broken with a pistol? more rockets you'll have to see that he did not go down in one he off was there I think the laws of I got this Yikes. Okay. I need to be more careful with that guy then. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. Just me. 
Interesting. So like it does a certain amount of damage. The battery does, I guess. The charge prod. It's not guaranteed to knock them out instantly. stuff let me get rid of the uh crowbar now let me move some stuff around how much you can get away with just with sound. doesn't take up space is that true list of ammo okay, that's cool castle clinton safe is what i just got a key for her. okay oh the torso is the problem okay that's good to know Glad to have made all the noise I just made. Take him out. Do you have time when the uh so when the camera detects you what exactly does that mean does it mean an enemy can actually get to you for sure not necessarily found us, fascist. Okay. is, is someone there that's him. He's a cop. Didn't work the way I was expecting it to. Okay. So we just kill this guy. I think non lethal is kind of rough to make work in this game. So it's warning you that you're in a camera's sight, essentially.
used this before, I think. Thought oh, I saw some a guy in a coat. Take him out. Oh, okay. Apparently he pressed the button in time. I didn't hear it go off, so I thought I was okay. Who was that? I didn't see a you. I can't tell when I'm getting detected. I'm still having to learn some things with that. They found us. That's him. He's a cop. I got this. That's him. He's a cop. Okay. So part of the problem is I probably can't get headshots to be one hit kills at all until I put more points into pistol. Does that actually affect my damage or does it just affect the speed with which my accuracy maxes out? Does affect damage, okay. I'll take more of these. I'll do. Can you waste reloads in this game? If you reload before using the whole clip, that a waste. swimming way to get in here interesting must be like a button outside that opens that you don't lose ammo for reloading early Shit, what, Nani? That's fucking cool. Love to see it. Okay. That means there must be a door down here, right? Just didn't think there'd be anything along this area because this looked like this was a. Uh walled off area but yeah maybe there's nothing back here actually pretty cool it should be there right hold on See how secrets work in this. Maybe there's like a secret button somewhere that opens it. I don't know. Oh, it's well enough. I already found the way in there. Quick. 
turn it off, but I have to manually bypass. Okay, I see. Was there a camera in that room? Was that cam? Do I need like a heavy weapon to be able to? Take out a camera. Only with the multi tool. and goes get, gets a flamethrower 30 I got this one you gonna pass out over there bud it's not it's just that the stealth pistol does no damage or something is that the problem I would need explosives okay so I have to upgrade my weapons Try hitting him multiple times, maybe that'll make a difference. that he's a cop okay so that guy's effectively immune to trank darts i'm still learning like the rules of the game i guess maybe they're just kind of bad until you upgrade them a little bit let me try dealing with this guy by different means you might be scripted to just notice me when i come around that hallway let's see i have another way to get to him somebody maybe just a homeless guy let's work forget it i was hearing things the guy from the bridge totally did okay fantastic calculated it's just like a mini alarm i shot the guy like five times he didn't go down maybe he's got like resistance to it or something Noticing me, but not alarming. Okay, that's what I wasn't sure about. Thanks. So there's less to do in this. I think I was, I basically, I think I explored further in here than I realized when I first got here. That's a full alarm. Okay, so I have time when I hear the beeping to get out of its line of sight, essentially. I think this entire, other than finding that the place looped around, there was no real reason for me to come this way because this is taking me back towards the entrance. 
Let's see what's off in this direction. Oh, really? The darts don't stack, okay. I don't really have enough to destroy that camera. Let's if I can, like, stand on a box to punch it. See if it lets me crowbar it here. It's pretty funny. I didn't think about using boxes that contain uh, items to climb things. It makes sense. Come on. I am damaging it when I hear that noise. They're just made out of like bulletproof metal. Normally I would assume, no, it doesn't have hit points. It must be, must have like massive damage reduction or it has to be hit by a giant explosion or something. Can nearby guards hear the sound of the camera slightly noticing you? Objective complete. Agent Navarre will describe your next assignment and stay behind to protect the Ambrosia. Look for her out front. Okie doke. I realized the thing I needed was that close by. Oh, interesting. Is that connected there? That's cool. Something else is interesting here. There is a console up there I might want to try to get to. It was the wrong button. I'm a dead save. Consoles through here. It's only one pick. Hey, skill points. I do like their way of doing skill points as it being like, you can, you can give the player really small rewards, which is nice. Fantastic. <gasps> ah, I'm so happy. Two canners of the stuff along with the umbrella. Okay, explaining why they have one. Sweet. Fantastic. Aqualung, my friend, environment. <laughs> these two completely undercut these two skills. That would be kind of funny. Guess the swim speed is maybe relevant some of the time, but I mostly took it for the breath. The palm canister. Oh, this ammo, okay. Commander Grimaldi. I could use the icebreaker. Try it. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Is this costing me a resource to do this other than the time spent standing around? Cycle tunnel doors. No email. Okay. 
I see. A little late to get in this room. That's nice. And putting points in computer makes that faster, essentially. Why did that trigger an alarm? Confused. Well, there's a chance of triggering an alarm whenever you mess with consoles. A lot of this session is me just kind of learning some of the rules. Oh, I have to do things before the t thing depletes. Okay. Let's see. Gotcha, I didn't understand that, thanks. So I guess that's the other thing, is if I put points in the computer, then I get more time to mess around once I get in before the meter depletes. actually take the other way out. guy was dodging me previously. No sneaking underwater, it turns out. More lessons learned, it's fine. Shut that camera off. Is a battery up there, that's worth grabbing. Nice. Gotcha. Wait, quiet. Shit. Nope, he still triggered the alarm. Okay. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. footprints pretty readily. open this door, which I thought it might. Maybe that's not actually a door. Be out here somewhere. Mm 
I did say out front, right? Take him out. Shit. <laughs> Guy's not a friend. Got it. Okay, I thought she said meet her out front. I guess figure out where they mean by that. These maps are much more like urban. Like I wasn't expecting there to be like NPCs and stuff. I thought it was all gonna be in like little dungeons essentially. That's cool. with the NSF but I cannot oh hey what's now. up you completed the objective at least you are not a coward like Paul your mechs might have copper wiring to reroute your fear of pain but I've got nerves of steel I'm learning as I go I'm learning as I go you just passed lesson one lesson two is how we deal with the terrorists in the subway station I'm ready the terrorists have wired the platform with explosives and put in hostages. Get the hostages out if you can, but make sure the NSF learned that human shields will not work against you, Natco. Nothing we can't handle with a few EMP grenades. We are thinking the same thought. I will equip you with two grenades. They will disable any electronic detonators within a radius of 20 meters. Seems pretty helpful. Found one earlier as well. 10 skill points awarded. Thought she was coming to yell at me for breaking that uh, cardboard box. What a cute tiny box. Free the hostages in the Battery Park subway station east of Castle Clinton. Okay. Is the sweet land of liberty of the Got five credits for someone who's got the gray death. Here you go. God bless you. Sound of cops. Okay there, buddy. Also, I can move these concrete barricades in theory. That's cool. That's caused me some problems. Okay, so sometimes a quick save. Okay. Sometimes the quick save ends up going lower in the list, weirdly.
Two heavy lifts still, even with a normal one, okay. A lot of assholes here, jeez. Whoa. Pretty neat. The level design is like really good and it very much holds up, I think. Squad does a lot to improve on a lot of this game's ideas, but it also like looks and sounds like garbage on purpose, so kind of like uh the NSF terrorists in the raise some of the, the obvious the improvements. Watch for booby traps. It's cool. This probably goes poorly for me. I guess we can go down and find out what happens. That's him. He's a cop. Okay. That's what I thought was going to happen. So I can maybe do a shenanigan here where I like fuck with them. Then there's like civilians down here, I guess is the point. I understand how that works now. That's what I thought was happening. So can I EMP grenade that room? Is that what they're suggesting? Doesn't help me with the... She mentioned something about using an EMP here to take out all the electronics, but I don't know if that works for the stuff that's down here, right? Did that even do anything? much steam what is it the rock starring nicholas cage i was hearing things okay i'm still trying to figure out what's up with this area here I just, I don't remember what she specifically said about the EMP grenades. There's something I need to take out here. I just see TNT everywhere. I wish I could knock them down. It would feel really good and I get it for free. Basically, they have, like, that room, I guess, is hard-coded to have instant acknowledgement to all other units whenever you hit somebody, so you can't just, like, find different grates to look down and take them all out one by one. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I guess my light shining on him. That makes sense. Yeah, 
I do like the concept of having to manage the light. So you have a bunch of areas where you actually need it. So nothing electronic there. Let's activate all these. I need to still move this, like the button I have it on really sucks. Terrorist size. safe going down that ladder I'm guessing there's like one port that I can drop a thing into yeah, ladders are the deadliest enemies no kidding How many total canisters are in this level? I found one of them. An upgrade advances an existing augmentation. Okay. And is that just like a single currency that I can use to advance any augmentation I've already equipped? Sir. Who are you? I'm a UNATCO agent. As soon as I open the train doors, I need you both to be ready to run on board. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Better, please. Sure. The hostages will be all right. Now take the train to Hell's Kitchen and report to your brother. So I did not just leave the level like I could go back here if I wanted to. Uh -oh. Well, not going to go super well for me if I do. <laughs> Are there any upgrades or uh, canisters in this section of the stage before I move on? I guess I could blow them up now, right? I haven't killed anyone yet. Probably shouldn't keep that up because it does take a lot longer to do things. Two weeks training at a militia camp. Okay, cool. I'll be okay. Thanks. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? You saved my life. The city's lit. Yeah. How's it look on the street? How's what look? Fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Tan Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. Good looking out. Water advisory. Chlorine spill in the Hudson River. Seems bad. I do kind of like the idea that, like, the United States is like a declining superpower in this.
stranger or foreigner, argumentative, especially about politics or philosophy. Okay, they're talking about the net there. <laughs> www. Be okay thanks what's the situation here you're taking over i've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse what about the emp field still in place your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source probably an industrial sized generator in a large building i'll question some of the locals i ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the underworld tavern down on the corner maybe i'll start with the tavern why don't you have to clear the street there's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Just like the movies. Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Thanks. I'll be okay. Thanks. The cattle prod is like my strongest weapon right now. <laughs> I'm not going to kill people yet. Said at the beginning of the game that I wasn't going to play it stealth, non-lethal, but I can't, I can't make myself not do it. southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Okay. the situation at the Tan Hotel. Rescue the Renton. Start the locals in the bar or clinic. Yes. Password? Open up. I'm a federal agent. Yes. Open. JC. Do they have all these like NPC shootouts? these what give him the grenades look i know he's your brother but your brother gave us these things look at this irritation to all exposed mucous membranes what's that gonna do just tell paul to give us bullets next time interesting Here's one prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways prolonged exposure it's like giving them cigarettes or something look do you want these things those things save lives keep them those things save lives. Terrorist lives, you mean. You're just like your brother. If I had your abilities, people would be safe around here. Hmm. Beijing, China, lunar mine operational. United States and Nigeria dispute China's claims of the lucrative palace Somni. That's fun. I really like the way they do the lore in this game. Dragon's House of Pain.
Hong Kong is going to return to Chinese control. Flourishing gray and black markets. Interesting. They set up Hong Kong so much, I assume we're going to go there. Interesting, like this kind of tracks, the human revolution also starts with kind of like a preset mission and then you're kind of exploring the neighborhood essentially. Sweets. It's a lot of multi tools. P. Denton Chameleon. Charity to Paul Denton. Spam. Tired of life? The only choice we ever have. The decision to die. <laughs> Kavork Inc. Uh huh. See you next Wednesday. Okay. See some of there being something in the closet? Maybe not. Oh, come on. Because maybe that's the point. Hey y'all, what's up? Sorry, I mean it almost hit you. We took him out. What am I doing on skill points right now? up that lock picking level which seems like it was a good idea but i really need to hold out for pistols we have the situation under control agent it's the free clinic which i presumably can use to equip my augment here no weapons allowed beyond this point Hey there, come in here. I'm Raphael. This here's Jake. Yeah, that sounds like J.C. Denton. 
Please proceed to the examining room. It's all ice cream and lollipops. If you think you have Grey Death, please pick up an information packet. Grey Death is great. This is the most unsettling restroom I've ever seen. Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing all right? Yeah. They told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. Do you know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. Got it. I'm not the only one they threw out. I like this game's soundtrack a lot. Got a few credits. You have the plague? Nah. Cops ran us off the streets. Usually I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district, but somebody boarded up the window. You live in a tunnel? Actually, I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building. Nice view, if it's not too cold. There's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel. Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. Park south of the hotel. I probably should start doing a future Marsted thing. I guess it does take notes for you, but not always. Oh, that's a good place. Well, I guess it does. Okay. It's cool you can One add notes in game. I don't have to use you. a future Marsted text file. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Sounds about right. Plague tests are free. Not now. Please. Leave me alone. You don't think to do it yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Uh -huh. Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300. But if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Never mind. As you wish. So if I had 2,000 here, I could use the bot. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. But you do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. And our rich people don't get great death. <laughs> don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. Definitely getting very strong, are we the baddies? <laughs> I'm with a patient right now. Gotcha. Pretty and twisted. <laughs> Party in the blood dimmed tide. Anytime someone sees me hacking, that's a problem. Is that how the icebreaker works? Say weekly report. Well, I'm wondering if like if a rando NPC saw me if they would like yell for help or something. Please do not disturb the other 
Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? All clear. Much empty space in the restroom. Oh shit, I didn't want that. That's fine. We just deal with those, pretty expensive. Not a real door. Joe Green, Midnight Sun. Glad to know you. Hey, what doing a you squat there, bud? What's going on out there? Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. Oh, really? Impressive. Somebody's showing off. Hey, you with the troops? I need help. What's the problem? Actually, it's my friend. Johnny took her into the alley west of here across the street. Slow down. Who's Johnny? I got a bad feeling about this. He was mad. He gets crazy when he's mad. Don't worry. I'll check it out. Okay. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? Where's that? That's valuable information. You'll have to come up with some kind of payment. How about liquor? I don't have any liquor. The bar's to my left. I did find a bunch of 40s everywhere earlier. What do you have for me? You can have this bottle of wine. That one's warm. Get me something from the bartender. What can I get you? You work here. You must know the area. Heard of anyone hiding a large generator? Not exactly, but if it's anywhere, it's probably in the warehouse district. Where's that? A few blocks south. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, you may be out of luck. Even though one of the old warehouses faces onto the park, I don't know how you'd get inside. Sounds like a good place to start. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just ten credits. Some heavy augmentation. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah. Ask you Natco. What's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? I can still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. The implication in um, Human Revolution, which is a prequel, obviously, but it was that like everybody was getting augmented for all sorts of different things. I am Brosia from a drug dealer. We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know if I gave it to her and it was cut. Jojo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Shay, kick cod. He's a little vodka this time. A little uh, I guess I optimistic about people's willingness to take vaccines. Uh, excuse us, we're having a conversation. You would never forgive yourself. All those already. The 
Underworld. All the ruined cars everywhere. I get it. The ton. Cute. Exactly. Sorry. Just like step on them? Is that what happened? No Roomba. I swear I heard something. I think you did hear something. For a second there, I thought he wasn't going to notice me. <laughs> got bad per peripheral vision, these guys. You better get out of here, Mr. Renton. Terrorists have taken cover inside the hotel. Ah, uh, can't leave the desk unattended. <laughs> You'll be caught in the crossfire. I have to order you to leave the building. Yes, of course. I'll close up in a second. Oh, that's right. It's the quick save problem. I gotta remember that. I'll head out just a minute. Where's the guy in that room? Is, is someone there? Hang on that corner. Where I heard something. What a weird thing to do. <laughs> Increase in admittance. New designer drug Zyme. Wonder if they tried to make most of the random like garbage loot show up in at least one quest. That's kind of cool. If so, abolish God. North room key, okay. I do you like the uh, room key system? Nano keys, that is.
I probably should have asked this way sooner. This area is the first where I'm noticing it, but has the game been mostly like legible, visible on stream? I can see it okay on my screen, but I wanted to make sure the gamma wasn't like crazy for Twitch. Probably better to ask in a room outside this one. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Help! God. So you're saying it's a problem with this? Thanks. Well, that guy's dead. Out of, oh, I do have more charger. Okay, I didn't understand that. Just takes a long time to reload. Okay. And he just like shoots automatically. Damn, that's rude. And the guy over there shoots somebody like immediately. Okay, Let's see. Maybe it's that I can't save both of them. Is kind of what they're getting at here. Hey, you've been saved. Thanks. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? Sort of. Yeah. Echo. yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. Righteous. The word righteous as some kind of password. I'm glad I didn't let That's that guy helpful. die. Thanks. Oh yeah, we already saw that. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's fine. Kill the rat. Trying to catch my breath. Thought I was a goner. You were in another life. John Palmer. Horrible OPSEC. So I'm pretty sure the three pick door is Paul's. Sorry, Mr. Roomba. Osgood and Sauna Imports. Jump on trash cans. Can't quite fit in there, okay. Mm. Can't squeeze through there. That might be worth lockpicking my way into. Were those not the Rentons? Didn't mark that one complete. 
Could be another floor, I guess. Not the Dentons, but the Rentons. Thanks. <gasps> oh yeah, good call. I keep expecting it to just tell me that I have the key to it. Fuck. just done this earlier right okay that's fine so he gave me the key thanks thought I was a goner Explosives to bust those down, right? So, battery's pretty good. I have a bunch of batteries, so I can skip that. Floor. You all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. How's your daughter? Is she somewhere safe? I don't know. She's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. Sure. Sure. Okay, there it goes. So I had to actually deal with the guys upstairs first, gotcha. Alley west of the underworld bar. Okay, I might still want to get in here. Two picks though, jeez. Oh, I didn't realize I could actually break glass. Okay. I tried before. I guess I just didn't hit it enough times. Thank you. Song sounds like it's in the Metroid Prime soundtrack. There's a familiar instrument in the Liberty Island music as well. Exploration bonus makes me really happy, <laughs> even though it just kind of turns into skill points. Like, it's nice to get a cookie. Hey, Bucky, how you doing? Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite image that should help you plan your approach. Okay, that's our progress, I think. So, I don't want to do that just yet. Do the side quest I'm missing.
Can't open that. I don't know what this is. Four tools. I want to see what's through there. Well, shit, <laughs> that's pretty important. Uh, I guess that cost me a rocket. Where's my rocket count? It's on the ammo list, right? That's horrifying though, because there's all these other ones I haven't bothered to check. 14. Yeah, it seems pretty worth it. Okay. Yeah, 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 hold on. this changer forever ago and then didn't actually keep it. What do we got here? Be using the augmentation screen. Oh, I can use it in the field, okay. So yeah, let's definitely make this better. Sick. Let's progress. Can I lift these now? Hell yeah. Okay, sweet. That's really exciting. Okay, so there's still one augmentation canister, right? I found the upgrade in one of the canisters. I don't ever want to know where they are. I just want to make sure that I know that I've found them all before I leave. So I appreciate the help. Okay, definitely see the explodey things. Probably should have gone hard on like progression stuff. I don't really need swimming. I thought swimming would be more progression oriented than it is. Giant rat stalks New York. some monster in it. The thing I really like about um, Cruelty Squad's kind of contribution to the genre is the way it has like a Dark Souls-like checkpoint to checkpoint. Every little enemy is a giant horrible threat that you need to be able to solve. And not being able to save mid-level really, like when you die having to start over and get back to where you were, kind of makes the cool shortcuts feel more valuable and for a longer time, right? Probably get over there, but do I want to? Okay, thanks. I can really do this, can I? It's quite funny. I get up here originally. Oh uh, shit. That's annoying. I need like a jump augmentation really badly now. Fall damage augmentation would be really cool. <gasps> it's fine. Bring 
things with me this time at least. I can do trash bag on trash bag. Can't quite climb on that, okay. Distance was helping me out there, it felt like. Stack two. I want this to be possible. I think it'll be cool if it is, but I might not have enough. I guess if I keep reusing this, maybe? It's very stupid, but it's very doable. I wish I could just like let let it down on the ground without having to throw it really far. Same height. Basically, I would need to get I need to have then have it up with me if I could. I can't do easily here. Okay, hold on. Really? This is completely unnecessary. I'm just doing it because it's interesting to me. I could like just drop it exactly where I'm standing, but I don't think that's possible. Maybe, perhaps, is on the same height as the trash bag, unfortunately. fucking go for no reason hey that was completely fucking pointless all right it's fine i love that shit man it injected into my veins and then it's like the door to get there was like right around the corner here it was completely unnecessary i think i can deactivate that from here right just an alarm okay so getting back here is actually not super duper helpful okay, I'll make a save here funny fence hop okay can do it but there's no real reason to it's more of an alley back there though Still didn't save that girl that I was supposed to look for. Thank you. 
Having two small blocks is kind of a big deal in terms of like the convenience factor. Yes, I bet, I bet that that ladder just goes up there and then you climb down and come down on this side and it's completely pointless. It's fine. Space Ram 2577. Thanks for, I guess that time the uh, demolition points helped me out confirm that that's true that it's literally just to run across the roof and take the ladder down <laughs> it's fun to explore like what is possible though in terms of like box stacking whether or not it's helpful definitely need to use one of these on this essentially yes I think that's true but I think the way it connects is kind of annoying that's him I don't know what that connects to I might not connect to anything okay it doesn't connect as clearly as I thought it did, maybe. I kind of want to go back just to see what happens from this initial staircase. Yeah, that would make sense. Ladder, I should say. He's a cap. Yeah, that seems to be right. I guess coming this way, I come into contact with the enemy more. I think there's actually anything interesting up here as far as I can tell. I'll go back to here. Five seven seven. Thought I saw someone, a guy in a coat. That's me. All clear. I saw some. Matches. Saw something. Is that so, friend? Oh, someone else who heard that. I guess it's nothing. Dog! Is 
Stock sad dog noise. You couldn't see me through the That's him. dog. Gone. That's really funny. We good? Carcass? Oh, dogs just die no matter what. It's too bad. Look for the building with the antennas. Oops. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. Take him out. Okay. So we don't want to do that here then. Instantly aggroing everyone. Oh god, what the fuck is happening? Oh shoot, that's right. It keeps. I thought I did quick save there. Huh. I guess not. Okay. So I can use the shitty stealth gun to break windows at least. I'm like stuck sneaking now? Can't jump? I don't think it's because I took damage. Is it as my legs are damaged, maybe? Let's see. Is they found us. Ooh. Drop in from the ceiling, I guess. It's cool. Secrets. Nothing to see here. Okay. It's like a 
try tranking them from in here. That's him. He's a cop. That's him. He's a cop. Can I get my darts back? That would be really funny. Dude, I totally can. <laughs> Fantastic. More prod chargers. Oh, oh shit. So does that just try to heal like random body parts essentially? Got an assault rifle. Another ladder there that I can't make much use of from here. Yeah, so I feel like what Half-Life 2 did is Half-Life 2 had linear level design that made it feel like you were breaking the level, but it was actually the one way you were intended to play. Um, but here it's like there are multiple intended ways to play and almost all of them feel like playing Half-Life 2. <laughs> I like two is really good. I think it's a nice kind of like uh, distillation of this, simplification of this. I think we've got an MP. No, false. Well, time to start throwing trash cans at people's heads. Poisoned or something? Alright, I'm out of ammo on that. Video games. Oh, they can break the <laughs> trash can eventually. Who'd have thunk it? That's fun. What is happening? Sometimes my quick saves, like I feel like I am positive that I'm saving more frequently than that and it just sends me way further back. Am I like overwriting them or something? Can't be right. Is 
Kenji Natko guy has got all the tricks. Where are you all shooting me from? You are shooting me. Hello. I know where I need to go. I'm just gonna deal with all the guys here, I guess. Stealth makes more sense in this stage, I think. Although it's kind of frustrating that the computer seems to have some sort of level where they can like wirelessly notify each other. One of them being aggroed like significantly increases the ability of the others to aggro you is what it feels like. The guy on the roof over here, because I'm gonna have to deal with him eventually. That's kind of where I need to go. So I can just go this way. I mean, he's out of range if I just see a reticle without a accuracy indicator. <laughs> Saw me eventually. I mean, you have a chance to hit him, it just you won't know how accurate you're going to be, essentially. This is before I explored this, even. Wow. Oh, I thought I had so much time left on stream. This is like the end of stream shit. Okay, hold on. Let me get this battery. Uh, time's been flying by. still possible okay that's where we want to go I'll leave myself future marsted notes here in a second all well, damage augment's gonna be great yeah thank you Charger. This feels like perfect. Okay, we got here and we took a cool circuitous route. Future Mars said, "There's another augment canister to find in this level. Make sure you find it before you leave. Everything else is cool, optional loot, but augment canisters are super worth going for." Uh, this game fucking rules. I love every minute of it. I'm having a blast. I know it might be frustrating to watch me reload a lot and stuff, but uh, I don't know, it's fun for me. 